What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about Norwegian police chases. Now, here in America, you know, police chases are pretty common here. They happen, you know, all the time. Somewhere in America, there's a police chase going on, you know. <laughs> but I, I don't associate Norway with like crime and police and police chases or any of that. So today, I'm very interested in, in watching how Norwegian police like interact with criminals, how Norwegian police uh, behave in these high pressure situations. I'm really interested uh, in just seeing uh, how Norwegian police act compared to our American police actually. So with that being said, Let's take a look. Det kom jo en melding via en annen patrulje. Har observert noe de kaller grisekjøring. Okay, so we're jumping right into it. They're just, uh, they got their sirens on. They look like police officers like they do here in America. And it's nighttime and they're driving off to something. I don't know what. Bilmannskjøring på E6. De får ikke til å håndtere det her selv på grunn av andre gjøremål. Uh, da blir på en vi som ska oh, försöka. Wow. So so this is similar. Like at, the people on the road are like pulling over to the side so that the police can uh, get by them. I try to turn on subtitles here, but <laughs> this the English subtitles are not working very well. But but let's keep going. Och stansa den bilen. Så so, vi kostar lite på då. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed uh, <laughs> this is so Norwegian there's already a tunnel like <laughs> everything is kind of similar to an American police chase right now except they're like <laughs> you've got all this Norwegian like geography and tunnels that you'd never find here <laughs> Vi forsøker på å innhente den bilen. Nå kjører vi fort, men vi gjør det ofte, og så kjører vi på en måte som kan forsvares med at det er trygt for oss og andre. Hvor er de gående nå? Det er motsatt, den går ganske rolig i Nordbyen. Jeg har ikke idé om hva de er trying å gå til. I th I think they're gonna get in a chase. Like they're gonna end up chasing somebody in a car. I th uh, hopefully. <laughs> a tunnel. A tunnel. They're very. They, they seem very calm. Yeah. So far, this is like way more calm. I think Norwegian police are like trained a little bit better. Uh, American police are famously like not the most well trained. Um, it doesn't take that much to become an American police officer. I think in Norway it's much harder to become a police officer, which, which is good. Uh, you definitely want <laughs> your police very, very highly educated and highly trained, right? <laughs> Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that, that was easy. <laughs> that was really easy. Uh, that was the, that was the shortest police chase ever. Um, in America, <laughs> a police chase would be much more uh, dangerous and fast and crazy. Here, they pulled them over immediately. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what for. Whoa. Hi. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is happening? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The, this is way different to what would happen here in America. Wow. I don't know if Norwegians know what I'm talking about. But uh, the biggest thing here that is shocking me, the driver of the car stepped out of the car. He opened his door and he stepped out of the car and he's standing up 
outside talking to the police officer, it, that that would not be okay. Here in America, if you if you were pulled over here in America and you opened your door and stepped outside of your car, I wouldn't be surprised if the police officers got their their guns out and and pointed their guns at you. Seriously, or like a taser or something. You do not exit your vehicle when you're pulled over in America. Um, I don't know how normal this is in Norway, but this is shocking to me. Also, American police officers would be way more careful. This Norwegian police officer walked right up to him and is just having a conversation. American police officers are very, are trained to be very careful and be very alert and basically assume everyone is a threat. Especially if you get out of your car. Oh my god. I was not expecting this. This is very different. What? What is going on? <laughs> I'm going to turn off these subtitles because they're not helping me at all. They're just okay with this guy walking around? Aren't they afraid? Isn't he, weren't they called in to pull, find him and pull him over? And they're searching his car. Is this just like showing how Norway is totally different in how much people trust each other? Or, or is this, is this not normal? Like him getting out of his car. They seem okay with it. Oh my God. In America, you would be, <laughs> you could get shot for doing this, for doing this, for just getting out of your car and not cooperating. But obviously the protocol is very, very different in Norway and America. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Du har begjæring på bilen din. Takk for det. Altså, bilen er begjært avskiltet fordi at du ikke har betalt og ikke fremstilt den for kontroll. Wow. Vi sjekker jo registreringsnummeret på, på bilen og får da tilbakemelding om at bilen er begjært avregistrert. Du har kjørt for... I am so confused. I'm so confused. They, this is the most relaxed. <laughs> this is not how it's like here. This is so relaxed. Everyone is calm. Everyone's just talking. Um, it's much, much higher stress in America. And you have to stay in your car, keep your hands visible. Wow. For being a uh, civil police bill, and uh, some sure fun transport. Now come to a good, good drive. Yeah, have you been to police before? Yeah. For being some. Oh, there's so there's someone else. There's another person in the car. And this person got out of the car. What? What what are they looking for? Right? I don't know what they're looking for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so th they are showing their identification. At least there's that. That's it. That's it. Wow. Oh, oh, they... Wow, they actually let them drive to a different location? There is so much more trust going on here between the people and the police. So the police ask them to drive to a gas station or something. The fact that the police let them step outside, step outside of the car, get back in the car, drive... Um, this is just so totally different. I, I, I'm really shocked. Uh, har du hatt sånn hastighet at det er bare griseflaks, at ingen har målt deg. So they are searching their car. They are suspecting them of something. But they're not treating them the same that police here in America would treat criminals. Here you would be handcuffed, you would be brought into the back of the police car. You would be, or you'd be told to stay in your car and keep your hands on the steering wheel. This is just so much more casual. It's inc it's incredible. Du har passert to politibiler, som sagt. 
Du vet jo selv, du har kjørt absolutt alt for fort. Ja. Og du har jo seks prikker fra før. Ja, did they find something? Så du er jo så nærme fotinger det går an å komme. Uten å bli det. Det skjønner du sikkert. Du kjenner jo det lukter av bilen, så da har vi kjørt litt. Da ender jo det egentlig med at han får en tilbakemelding på det, litt sånn strengt. Og så må man jo bare håpe at han tar det med seg videre. Det er jo egentlig sånn. I'm not sure what they found. Om det fungerer. Ok. Ha det. I don't know. That's it. Det er ikke passe ut. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. It's just, there's more. Ok, but I do, I want to take a look at a different video. This, this is a Norwegian police chase. That video we just watched was kind of a police chase. But it's really... Oh my god, that was so interesting for reasons I did not expect. Just the inter just watching how Norwegian police interact with people, it's really eye-opening. Um, here in America, our police are a lot more aggressive. Our police assume that you're dangerous. Um, and in Norway, it just seems a lot more friendly, a lot more casual. I assume Norwegian police know what they're doing. I guess that just kind of speaks really highly of Norwegian society. I don't, I don't know. They were searching their car, and yet they were acting like there was no danger, really. I, I'm a bit confused still. Anyway, let's move on to this video. This is a Norwegian, this is an actual police chase that I think gets more intense. Jeg tenker at vi må få stanset den bilen så fort som mulig før han selv, eller det som er det, andre kommer til skade. Vi ligger nå bak den aktuelle bilen. Åh, wow! Vi kjører opp b***. Etter kort tid så... Oh my god, these roads are so tiny. Bak den aktuelle bilen. The other thing I notice is the Norwegian landscape. These roads are so small, and there's a lot more hills and terrain in Norway. Vi kjører opp b***. Etter kort tid så påtreffer vi denne bilen, og det viser seg jo at vi hadde jo stanset akkurat denne bilen tidligere på natten. Sett deg på lys. Åh, man! Åh, wow! They're actually, like... This is dangerous. They're speeding through, like, a residential area by houses and cars. This is actually much more intense. And Norway, it seems like there's a lot less room sometimes. Sett på siden nå. Oh, here we go. Just looking at these Norwegian police officers here, these two officers seem so composed and so calm. And I really love that about Norwegian police. They seem really in control of themselves, very calm, and just like really good police, I think. I think they're going to be able to see the sirene. Og bilen ser vi gir gass. Det er veldig små og smale veier. Wow! Oi! Roner! 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 Vi ligger bak bilen. Vi avbryter. Den stikker. Vi avbryter. Den kjører. Og vi rekker opp seg ved. Wow, what an interesting city they're driving through. This is a very Norwegian looking town. Det er at han holder på å kjøre ned en person til fots. Det ser ganske dramatisk ut. Den gata er ganske trang. Jeg velger da å avbryte forfølgelsen, ettersom han har utvist en ganske uforsvarlig kjøreadferd, og vi har fått opplysning om at han kan være ganske full. Slå av. Jeg har slått av. Vi kommer opp bak bilen igjen, og det viser at han... I'm really curious how they are going to stop this car. Because this does not look like that... This doesn't look like the car is going to pull over peacefully like the other video. And I'm kind of glad because I want to see how Norwegian police react to a car, to a criminal that doesn't want to cooperate. Vi kjører ned en gate ned mot sentrum. Og vi vil absolutt med alle midler prøve å forhindre at han skal ned i sentrum. Det kan oppstå. The longer this goes on, the more dangerous it gets. In America, they might uh, try to drive up behind the car and like tip, tip the back of the car to spin them out or even put out like spike strips or something. I'm not sure what Norwegian police will do. Fare for liv og helse. Skal vi ta den her da? Ja. 
Let me come for. Let me come for the for click. Oh, they're getting very close. Ganske tidligt efter en mulighed for at vi kan klare og tvangsmæssig på sætlig stanse ham ved at køre køre på ham rette stå. Oh, they're getting very close. Oh, til at klinke bilen. Han er tidligt beruset. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. They are finally they're having to get aggressive. They're having to actually physically touch the car. Okay. This is more what I expected. What? 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 What's happening? What? What? What's going on? This this guy pulled over as well? He just pulls over after all that, after that that whole chase. Norwegians just pull over to the side of the road and just like that. What? In here in America, like you would almost expect this to end with helicopters coming and and a shootout with guns. In Norway, <laughs> people just pull over. What what? And they just give up. That and that's it. What? Okay. Oh my god. And now this as well. Oh my god. It's just so different. It's just so different. I I was thinking, what are they gonna do when they jump out of this car? There are they gonna pull out their guns, get their guns out, get their taser out? That's what would happen here in America. After this, if you did all this and you got, and they finally caught you, you would have guns pointed at you by everyone. N but not Norway. These Norwegian police, like, there's no guns. I, I can't get over it. There's no guns. I'm shocked. Uh, he, he got out a baton, a stick, a baton. <sighs> Wow. I am just shocked. I'm shocked. Cause here in America, like they you would you would assume that the person trying to get away has a gun. That the American committing the crime has a gun. Maybe in Norway? Maybe in Norway, they just don't assume that everyone has a gun. Maybe that's just not the assumption. And so Norwegian police don't have to get guns out. I'm shocked. I am shocked. He just got a baton out and just ran right up to their door. And that was that. And and he was correct. Like, that was the correct thing to do because the, the perpetrator didn't shoot them. But, oh my god. I wasn't expecting to be so shocked by how different Norwegian police act compared to American police. The difference is night and day. It, it's a huge difference. American police will definitely draw their guns. American police have guns and they will be much more aggressive. Even if you aren't really doing anything, even if you just pull over uh, American police will still be very, very cautious. Very cautious and ask for your hands to be visible. The Norwegian approach is just so different. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I didn't know what to expect. But this difference is so big. I can't believe it. Um, I think cr crime and criminals and police in Norway is just totally different. Totally different to here in America. It's just more peaceful in Norway. Even the even the criminals in Norway are more peaceful, I think, than Americans. So Norwegian police don't need to draw their guns or be as aggressive. Uh, I guess I'm just used to that as an American. Wow, this was a really, really interesting comparison. I actually really enjoyed this. I, I'd never seen how Norwegian police behave when interacting with criminals. This was this was eye opening. This was fascinating. Um, really, uh, I, I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on Norwegian police and if what I saw today is representative of Norwegian police, 
um, and how Norwegian police behave. That'd be fantastic to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, and me learning about Norway and Norwegian things for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.